A big hello to you. It's great to see you and I hope I find you well. Welcome to Weir Yard. I'm Jenny Kirk and today I'm going to be doing a quick video showing you how to DCC fit the new tooled Graham Farish Class 08 diesel shunter. It's quick, it's easy and you can take it on yourself. So come with me and let's get this project done. It's just a quick video for you today and it's uh, just showing you how to DCC fit one of the Graham Farish Class 08 diesel shunters. Now these are absolutely tiny. You can see it there on the end of my fingers. And uh, these actually take a Next 18 decoder socket and uh, it's contained inside. And actually what's quite clever about these, they also include what appears to be a factory fitted speaker. So sound fitting as well is quite easy. Just need a Next 18 sound decoder with the appropriate sound file loaded onto it. But getting into this can be a bit tricky. So today I'm going to quickly show you how. And I'm going to be using what is actually one of the tiniest of the flathead screwdrivers. In fact, these are so fine and tiny that you can see that the end is very prone to getting bent in use. What we're actually looking for, you can see there, there's two screws there. Right down here, buried away, two more screws as well. And you need to make sure that you don't chew the heads on these. They really are quite small screws. So we're going to use the um, flathead screwdriver, even though they are actually a crosshead screw, this does fit into them. And then just very carefully unscrew them. And what I find is push down as you do it, and it just stops the uh, head of the screwdriver from riding up and just kind of scratching away at the top. And we just repeat that for all four of these. Front two are buried away just right down here, quite difficult to get at and uh, just take your time and they will come. Now if you find that from the factory these are massively over torqued and you're running the risk of damaging either the screw or the screwdriver then one little tip is to actually, uh, and this is counterintuitive, tighten it ever so slightly and then back it off and sometimes you find that's enough just to break it free without damaging the head of the screw. And then once they're all undone, just gently tap. We should have four screws. So there we have the four. Align the O8 shunter. Just gently move it up from the back. And now just be careful of this. There's a little wire here. If you move it up from the back, just to rotate it and then pull it away from the body, then you're absolutely fine. And that opens up the Farish 08, and you can see the factory fitted speaker here in the front with its resonance chamber already there, nicely fitted in. And we've got plenty of room for a Next 18 sound decoder or uh, regular decoder. Um, you'll just find a blanking plate on here, take it out, align your DCC decoder. We've got a trainomatic one here. And it's just really quite simple to uh, get that to just go into the slot and make sure all is well. And then it's a simple process of just reversing what you've just done. Now, the first things first is to line up that wire there with the small hole that it goes into. You can then just feed the body down and into place. And now a top tip for you for getting the screws back in. I've got some neodymium magnets. I just stick them to the top of the screwdriver like that. These are actually from the DCC Concepts range. And then uh, separate these one at a time because otherwise the magnet will just make all of them stick to the end there. And you can see that I can pre-fit the screw and then that means that we can very, very easily drop that down, line it up with the hole, and then screw it in. Don't over tighten them. You don't need to go gung ho, really, just until you feel a slight bit of resistance is more than enough. And then repeat 
with all the other screws. And then we're all back together and the model is DCC fitted. It's really quite easy and uh, you just need to make sure that you've got one of these quite small flathead screwdrivers. I've actually found uh, that these seem to work better than the Phillips style um, because at that size they just have no strength and will distort and chew up the heads of the screw. So there you have it. A nice little easy DCC fit project. I hope you really enjoyed today's video and found it informative. Don't forget to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to the channel and ring the notification bell to be the first to know about new videos as and when they go up. And do remember to check out our main channel as well over at Jennifer E. Kirk Model Railways. In addition, you can check us out over on Patreon and a big thank you to everybody who supports that channel in that way. But until next time, take great care of yourself. Happy modelling. Bye for now. I'd like to thank everybody over on Patreon and an extra special huge thanks goes out to our Patreon heroes. Without you guys over on Patreon, we really wouldn't be able to keep making the video content that you see on this channel. And don't forget that you can also head on over to patreon.com slash Jennifer Kirk and check out the different tiers of rewards. Thank you so, so much. You are absolute legends.